to this lesson we'll be looking at QMI 1500 we are still busy with assignment number three to this focus will be question five seven and question eight semester two 2020 let us start this is the actual question which is question five without wasting time let us jump straight to this question question five says Eric takes a 23,000 discount loan at the community bank for a student loan. The discount rate is 12.75% and the term of the loan is 18 months. This is represented by the following timeline. So we can see the timeline. We do not have the present value. And then we can see that we have the face value or the future value then we have 18 months and then the interest rate or the discount rate in this case it's 12.75 percent now this is another type of an account that you should know remember that the previous lesson videos we talked about compound interest and simple interest so the this type of account it has its own specific equation that we must take note of the equation it's p it's equals to s1 minus dt whereby p is the discounted or present value and then s is the face value or future value and then we have this d which is our discount rate and then t it's simple is the term we can say duration so this is another equation that we should take note of as you can see that the difference is that we have this negative here and this equation is for simple discount so looking at our question we can see that it's based on a simple discount so we are going to use that particular equation we are looking for this present value so what we can do we can start by writing our equation I don't know if you are going to have enough space here then we have P it's equals to our future value of face value is 23,000 1 minus our D we should take this and divide it by 100 or we can simply write this but when you punch it on the calculator you include the percentage so writing it the way it is just make sure that you include this percentage and then multiplied by 18 months how do you convert 18 months to years it's 18 divided by 12 it will give us the number of years so it's multiplied by 18 divided by 12 then we can simply punch this the answer will be 18,601.25 which is um, option two you can see this option here so option two is the correct option for this question our next question which is question seven it says the sum a sum of money is invested in amounts to nine thousand eight hundred after five years and twelve thousand eight hundred and fifty five point seven three after eight years at the same compounded rate of interest the interest is compounded quarterly then we can see that we have this number line here we know that we have particular sum we are not sure of but we know that from year five we have nine thousand eight hundred up to year eight whereby we have twelve thousand eight hundred and fifty five point seven three Calculate the annual interest rate as a percentage. The answer rounded to two decimal places is. Now, before we can 
start answering this question as usual let us look at the equation that we'll be using for this particular account so we have compound interest so for this we are going to use similar equation that we used in simple interest but you can see the difference now this um, period it's not multiplied by our interest rate but in fact it's raised to the power of the whole bracket or the whole of this now before we actually use this equation there are some of the things that we should take note especially when looking at r and t for the sake of notes write this down i know that we've went through this um when we were talking about this compound interest the basics of compound interest we've covered this but for the sake of understanding the question let us quickly go through this we have different types of duration we have annum it's actually yearly just know that alum annum it's simply once semi annum simply means um twice a year or two times a year and then we have quarterly quarterly it's um four times four times a year we have one here we have two here we have four here and then monthly is when we have um 12 times 12 times a year and then we have um weekly weekly it's 52 times and then we have a daily which is 365 times a year so once you master this everything becomes simple when using this equation you'll never go wrong just know that anam is once semi anam is twice quarterly is four times monthly is 12 times weekly 52 and then we have daily which is 365 for the sake of practice just make sure you watch the lesson video whereby we talk about compound interest there is a specific lesson video whereby we focus mainly on this type of an account and then there are also um, practice questions now you should understand this if the question or the scenario talks about a certain amount invested quarterly or semi annual let us start with semi annum semi annum we said it's two times we said it's two times so what you have to do before you substitute or once you substitute we are not going to substitute the values exactly the way they are here we are going to multiply our duration by two if it's semi annum and then our percentage our interest rate compound interest will be divided by the very same two if it's quarterly then it means that you are going to multiply by four then you also divide by four here because quarterly is four and then if it's monthly it means that we are going to multiply by 12 here we're going to multiply by i mean divide by 12 here that is basically how we use this equation so let us go back to our question so we are looking for the interest rate the annual interest rate but you can see that we cannot use this from here to here because we don't have on the initial duration and we don't have the sum but since we have 
this statement here. It says after five years and this is what we have after eight years at the same compounded interest the same compounded rate of interest it means the interest is the same from here to here and also here to here so we can use this as our present value this as our future value and then we can see that from five years to eight years we have um, three years so we can go ahead and use our equation s is equal to p 1 plus r t Point seven three. It's equals to our p. It's nine thousand eight hundred. Then we open bracket one plus. Remember that we said the percentage will be divided by. Okay, let us read the question again so that we can see what number are we going to multiply and divide with. A sum of money is invested and amounts to. 9,800 after 5 years and 12,855.73 after 8 years at the same compounded rate of interest. The interest is compounded quarterly. So this is the phrase that we are looking for which will guide us what to divide. So we are going to have R divided by 4 because we said quarterly it's 4. And then from five years to eight years it's actually three years so it will be three multiplied by the very same quarterly phrase which is four so this is what we have we just have to solve for this r now so let us go ahead and solve the first thing that we are going to do we are going to divide by 9800 both sides So this will get rid of this and then from here we can okay let us write okay 3 multiplied by 4 it's basically 12 it's equals to we have 12,855.73 all over 9,800 9, then from here we get rid of this 12 by taking 12 root of this then basically this will get rid of this and then we will be left with 1 plus r over 4 it's equals to the square root i mean the 12th root of this all over 9800 9, then transpose this one to the other side we are going to have something like this then from here we want to remove this 4 so we multiply by 4 both sides but, but just make sure that this is multiplied by 4 so r will be equals to you open bracket you take the 12th root of this you punch whatever that is inside here then minus one close bracket and then you multiply it by four then you should get the answer the answer is 0 0.0915 then we can see that this is in decimal so if you want to take it to percentage we multiply by 100 remember that when we take it to percentage i mean from percentage to decimal we actually um, divide by 100 then when you take it from decimal to percentage just me just know that we multiply by 100 so if you take this multiply by 100 we are going to get um 19 No, not 19, it's 9. It's 9 because when multiply by 100, this will jump straight here. 
the comma so it's 9.15 percent now let us look at our option here or oh, it's option two so option two is the correct option for this question let us go ahead and go to our last question this is question eight question eight says give the answer to this question correct to two decimal places the compound interest on doing a three thousand two hundred and sixty nine invested so this is the amount that was invested p at 10.50 percent interest per year compounded semi-annually is 10,022.43 so it means that after investing this amount interest that was generated is this amount remember that interest is um, an extra amount that was generated after investing at a particular interest rate so it means that if you're looking for the future value it will be this amount plus this one because this is just an interest you should not get confused because look at the question it starts the compound interest on the interest that extra amount that was generated by this is this so it means that this plus this will give us the future value after a number of years so to continue the question it says the number of years for which the money was invested is so you are looking for the number of years now since we can see that is compound interest we're going to use cs is equals to p 1 plus r t then remember that our keywords what to multiply on r and t we have same which is 2 now to get our future value or s we are going to take 23 1269 plus this interest which is here equals to presently we invested 23,269 1 plus our r it's 10.50% divide by 2 remember that we divide by 2 because it's same and then looking at our duration Oh no. Let's quickly rewrite that again. And then our T, remember that it's T multiplied by 2, so it will be 2R. So basically, we are solving for that R. And remember that we can use financial calculator to easily solve this. But for the sake of this lesson video, we will be using another method. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to divide by both sides. So this will get rid of this. And then we have... So from here, we'll have to use the, the laws of logarithmic. If you're not using a financial calculator, we can quickly solve this using um, logs. Now, if you're not familiar with logs, let me quickly teach you. Suppose that we have something like this. 3 to the power x is equal to 9. We're trying to solve for x. If you are trying to solve for x or you are trying to solve for an exponent variable, how do you solve for this? 
using locks. The loss of locks, it says exponent. This is just the generated equation to make things simple. Log base multiplied by number. So from this, we can see that this is our exponent. Exponent, which is our variable. And then this is the base of the exponent. So we call this number a base. And then this one, we just call it a number. So it means that if you want to solve for this x, we are going to use this equation. It says exponent, and then in our case, our exponent is x is equals to log base it's 3 and then number is 9 then you quickly punch this on the calculator it will give you um, the value of x which is equals to 2 and indeed if we say 3 to the power 2 where we see x substitute by that answer the answer will give us this particular number so we are going to do the very same thing here you can see that our exponent is 2r, our base is this, and then this is our number. So to introduce log, we are going to say 2r is equals to log, our base is 1 plus 10.50 percent, divided by 2, multiplied by our number, it's this one. then punching this whole thing on the calculator you're going to get um, 2 point I mean 6 point nine 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 recurring and then okay let us do this it's six point nine 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 then remember that you're solving for R so we divide by two both sides we get 3.45 and then we run off to it's actually 3.500 when run off to two decimal places is 3.50 so let us check for the correct option here so you can see that the correct option is option one that's it for this lesson video. On the next lesson video, we will be choosing another three questions randomly based on the request of um, students. That's it for this lesson video. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.